Hey guys, it's Transformation Cook Legends, and I'm going to share with you something from the Word of God. Before I start, make sure you like, subscribe, turn on post notifications for my newest videos. Today I'll be talking about kindness. Kindness, the fifth of the fruit of the Spirit. With all the stress, panic, frustration, lack, poverty, etc. going on in the world right now, a kind word or a kind action to another person could do wonders to them. What is kindness? It is being gentle, helpful and considerate of others. Being kind involves being generous, compassionate, serviceable, pleasant, selfless, having love for mankind, etc. As part of the fruit of the Spirit, it works hand in hand with all the others. 1 Corinthians 13, the verse 4 tells us, Love is patient and kind. When you have the love of God in you, you cannot help but be kind. Kindness is love in action. It involves patience, long-suffering, self-control, goodness, gentleness, peace and all the rest. Psalm 25 verse 6 says, Remember, O Lord, your tender mercies and your loving kindness, for they are from of old. Our God is loving and kind. Titus 3 verse 4 to 5 says, But when the goodness and loving kindness of God, our Saviour, appeared, He saved us, not because of the righteous things we had done, but because of His mercy. He washed away our sins, giving us a new birth and a new life through His Holy Spirit. When God redeemed us, through Christ Jesus, he did it through a heart of kindness for us. We did not deserve his kindness, but he loved us and saved us by his grace, mercy and kindness. Just like God, you don't have to be kind to someone because they deserve it, but as an act of love. God even wants us to be kind to our enemies. Our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ himself, without doubt, is the perfect example of kindness. He always had compassion on people and reached out to help. In his earthly ministry, he healed the sick, fed thousands, and even showed kindness towards sinners. Jesus came to die for our sins, to save us, and to restore us to God. Joseph in the Bible is also a great example of kindness, goodness, and forgiveness. It was in his power to take revenge on his brothers after they tried to kill him and sold him to slavery, but he chose to forgive and to be kind to them. God wants us to be like him. He wants us to extend his love and kindness and mercy to the world. Ephesians 4 verse 32 says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as God in Christ forgave you. Kindness has the power to soften and change people. Through kindness, we will be able to win the world to God. Let's always look for opportunities to show kindness. A kind word or deed can go a long way to show others God's love. Amen. Sometimes people will try to take advantage of your kindness or press you into agreeing to things that you're not comfortable with or that are not in line with the word of God. You don't have to say yes to everything to be kind. You must be ready to say no when you have to. Being kind doesn't mean weakness. Kindness should be from a genuine heart. It's not to please others or for a reward. I will end with Colossians 3 the verse 12, which says, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. God bless you. Be transformed by the renewing of your mind. It's Transformation to KJ.